Everybody is doing it. Why can't I? This is the answer I get every time I talk to someone about anything. Having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Free mixing. Taking a loan from a bank with interest. Cheating in school exams. Cheating in business. Lying. Gossiping. Listening to songs. Watching haram media. 90% of the time, I get the same annoying response. It's normal now. Can't you see everyone is doing it? Do you want me to be a sheikh? As if somehow, because everybody around you is doing a sin, it makes it okay for you to do the same sin. As if we're taking our rulings from people, not from God. And because this is very, very dangerous, in this video, we're gonna end this argument forever. So please pay attention with me. Quran chapter 6 verse 116 If you obey most of the people on earth, they will lead you away from Allah's way. Quran chapter 12 103 Most mankind will not believe. Quran chapter 34 verse 28 The majority of mankind does not know. Quran chapter 7 verse 108 I didn't find most of them true to their confidence, but indeed I found most of them truly disobedient. Quran chapter 40 verse 61 Most people are ungrateful. Quran chapter 40 verse 59 The hour is certainly coming. There is no doubt about it, but most people do not believe. Quran chapter 13 verse 1 what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, but most of people do not believe. Quran chapter 40 verse 59 The creation of the heavens and the earth is certainly greater than the recreation of humankind, but most people do not know. Quran chapter 16 verse 38 The majority of mankind does not know. Quran chapter 25 verse 50 most of mankind refused anything but constant denial. Quran chapter 17 verse 89 Most people persist in disbelief. All of that and more is the description of most people, the majority of people. Are you sure you want to be one of them? Because I have a better idea. How about you be among the few? Check this verse. Quran Chapter 34, verse 13. Only a few of my servants are truly grateful. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Islam became small and will return to the state in which it began. Then blessed will be the few who hold to it. Quran chapter 5, verse 100. Say, O Prophet, good and evil are not equal, even if you are amazed by the abundance of evil. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, There will be a time in which the one who is patiently holding to his religion will be like the one holding to a burning piece of coal. Quran chapter 41 verse 35 Jannah cannot be obtained except by those who are patient and who are truly fortunate. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Ahead of you are days which will require endurance. The one who acts rightly during this period will have the reward of 50 men who act like him. The disciples of the Prophet asked, 50 of them? He said, no, 50 of you. You get 50 times the reward of the disciples of the Prophet if you hold on to the religion now. After we read all of these verses and hadith, do you still want to be among the majority of people? Is it really important to fit in? Or do you want to be among the few who are patient and grateful to Allah? If you think this content is helpful, please don't let it stop with you. Help it spread by engaging with it with likes, shares and comments. And if you want to watch a complete breakdown on Sharia Halo, check out this playlist up there. And if you want to watch more Q&A videos like this one, check out this playlist down there. Thanks and Salaam Alaikum.